What's up, young scholars? This the dad cipher. Now, as much as a lot of old head, the old school hip hop heads like to condemn the new generation with all the, you know, the auto tune raps and the ad libs and the skirts and all of that stuff that's listed into the songs. And even for some of um, subject matters that lack substance, we have to really acknowledge how the new school hip hop artists are uh, helping to change the narratives when it comes to black fatherhood. In particular, in a lot of uh, young hip hop artists, my artists like J. Cole, Chance the Rapper, Don Tripp, J.I.D., um, Toby and Wigway, a lot of the newer school rappers are complicating the narratives when it comes to hip hop culture. In particular, um, songs that that come to mind is Chance the Rapper, Lord Release. And she wants me to get out of the drug game. She doesn't realize how much it causes me pain. I just want my son to grow up with a dad with him. Well, we're looking at a marginalized urban father who has limited opportunities living in a marginalized community, living in a redlining district, and he's engaging in underground economies but what makes his story different is you uh, we begin to see a deep psychological struggle that takes place a sort of cognitive dissonance and a sense of when i say cognitive dissonance it's like the rapper or as narrator is aware that as a dad he is not living the life that he wants to live however his uh, lack of opportunities have forced him to engage in what we call heroic masculinity. Now, heroic masculinity, in a sense, is American as American pie, because what it means is that one has to be become a rebel in order to become a breadwinner. You will find this when we talk about white males in uh, stories like Breaking Bad. Or uh, like Shameless, where these fathers will, because they have been denied access to the American dream, they're able to inverse that dream by engaging in these underground economies to provide for their families. However, when we talk about depictions of black fathers in hip hop, we see that it's a sort of reluctant uh, heroic masculinity and what makes it reluctant it's not that the fathers depicted in these stories really want to willfully engage it's just a limited amount of opportunities that force them into it and also a lot of them are dealing with the stigma of absentee fathers from the 80s and 90s so what we find in Chance the Rapper Lord Release we find a fatherless father who wants to be a better father to his children. He is haunted by that. So we see the psychological trauma uh, that's taking place. And psychological trauma is something that's largely ignored in the Monaghan Report, like it's largely ignored today, That uh, the impact of mental health and how it impact, uh, impacts black fathers. But what we find in a particular song is that the father doesn't want to engage in it, but he feels like he's forced to. He's seeking all opportunities. He even goes to the church and he's uh, seeking some sort of transformative motivation that can help him to get out of his financial situation in order to provide. He's seeking in a way for a sense of fatherhood, a father identity that is not limited to just the financial provisions that one can offer. And uh, we find that even in Don Tripp's letter to my son. I just want to see my son. Matter of fact, I'm in school right now in case the music don't work and I can put the work down. He even talks about in great detail about his struggles uh, in terms of trying to provide 
where he's trying to uh, he's living this sort of dichotomous life where he's trying to leave the dirty dollars of the underground economy and he's trying to seek um, to learn a trade that can provide financially for his household. However, in addition to his economic struggles, he talks about um, uh, maternal gatekeeping, explosive relationship between the mother of his child and himself has led him in a situation where he has to wade through negative co-parenting to try to even establish a relationship with his son. And again, these are issues MCs are really dealing with that complicates what we traditionally think about the narrative of black fatherhood. And in particular, what he is talking about is the role that the court system plays and how fathers are perceived and how he wants to change this negative, uh, his narrative, but he feels helpless to do so. So with all of that said, hip hop offers a new sort of script, a new narrative that can help practitioners. It can help policymakers to really take a chance, uh, take the time to really listen to the voices that are emerging out of these communities to come up with a real call for action that includes the narratives of these fathers. I imagine that even if uh, a practitioner does not want to comb through hip hop lyrics and that sort of thing to find a problem. Perhaps they could use some of these hip hop songs as forms of engagement that can help ease the these fathers that we want to serve into a place of comfort where they can feel like they can share their stories, they can be vulnerable, that they can wear their trauma on their sleeve. The hip hop fatherhood narratives really are adding more visibility and they're complicating um, the stories uh, that about black fatherhood that we have heard since 1965 when it comes to uh, Daniel Monahan. Um, and I hope that we it will continue to complicate this conversation and uh, will lead to more research for the betterment of the African American community. Hey, 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 hey,